Hello everyone, this is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot and thank you so much for joining me. Now the tarot deck for the month of September is the Akashic Tarot Card Deck. So this is your daily tarot reading for Saturday, September 2nd, 2023. What do we got today? We've got the Four of Scrolls and it says the Karmic Trench. Well, first let me explain the visual on our card today. This is the Four of Scrolls, possibly similar to the Four of Swords. We see a field meant to be planted. A man just dirty from his efforts stands knee deep inside a long trench and the seeds wait to be planted. Yet he continues to dig deeper and deeper and there are other rows just plowed and ready for planting, but they are ignored. So this card's revealing a difficult pattern in your life, a pattern of self-defeating feelings or thoughts, actions that uh, is brought forward from previous past lives. And you return to this life with the intention of breaking the karmic pattern, but you get pulled into the old thoughts and behaviors. You've been digging yourself deeper into a karmic trench that gets harder and harder to escape. So think about that right now. Because something is going to resonate with you, the pattern is certainly not unknown to you. You recognize it in your relationships or in your job, certainly in your beliefs, behaviors, and responses. It takes time to change your karma by altering the, uh, take charge of it. Alter the uh, inner feelings, your ideas, patterns that cause you to make these sabotaging choices. So today, the Four of Scrolls is asking you every time you notice yourself making an old choice that digs you deeper into your karmic trench, you can change your mind and your actions. Now, this is going to require your conscious effort every step of the way. And without such work, you could go lifetimes just burying yourself in the same feelings. But with your commitment to making changes every day, you can dig yourself out. Now, these karmic changes don't happen overnight. Be conscious as you set up new work and relationships to avoid falling into old patterns of belief and feeling. This is your opportunity today to overturn lifetimes of sabotaging karma and create a powerful beginning that endures into your future. So the universe is welcoming you to a new field of your life. So today with the Four of Scrolls, take a moment to remember an old negative pattern that you know all too well, one that has kept you stuck, and close your eyes, breathe in the presence and power of your higher self, and as you do, you become stronger. You're filled with the will to step out of the mud, and as you do, now and every time, as you might fall into this pattern again. Now, the typical Four of Swords is a knight resting, recharging his batteries, but being connected to spirits or synergy. And the Four of Scrolls is really trying to pull you out of repetitive patterns that are blocking your way to move forward. Four of Scrolls is Libra's card and energy, ruled by Jupiter with the number four numerology. So the Libra characteristics can be very cooperative, diplomatic, optimistic, but possibly indecisive. And with it being ruled by Jupiter, Jupiter is associated with good luck and happiness and knowledge and good health and good fortune, power and status. All possibly keeping you repeating the same patterns as the number four numerology is about structure, rules that are in place, being self-disciplined, being unmoving and rooted. The year of 2024 with Pluto going into Aquarius is all about the people. A great time to start preparing for January 2024 to get out of this karmic cycle. Now, the crystal that is specifically associated with the Four of Scrolls is Moss Agate. I find it interesting that it has the moss, something that is hard to get rid of, the definition of it. 
It's a crystal of new beginnings about attracting abundance and tapping into a really deep set creativity within yourself. It helps to encourage tranquility, emotional balance, helps improve focus and concentration. So certainly a crystal for mental clarity. So today is all about of the repeating patterns that you've been going through, possibly many lifetimes, and to step up and put an end to it. So today's the day to take a moment to remember uh, releasing old negative patterns that you know all too well, that has kept you stuck and stagnant. Certainly some area of your life that you truly deeply want to be able to move forward with. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please take a moment to subscribe, help support my channel, give it a thumbs up, love and abundance. Until tomorrow.